Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. I know they call this hump day, but uh, I love Wednesdays. I think Wednesdays might actually be one of my favorite days of the week. Um, it's also more exciting because uh, tonight, this Wednesday night, I get to interview Miss Natalie. She is a pharmacist and uh, she's gonna be talking about coffee. Uh, so we're gonna be live streaming that to our page uh, tonight at 7.30. I'm gonna try to remember to record it. Hopefully um, I will between Natalie and I both, we should <laughs> be able to uh, remember to do that. Um, so that's exciting. And then um, we also have, let's see what else we have. There's so much going on. We have the five ingredient, and recipe, uh, ingredient recipe book um, out now that you guys can get. And then our new book club. Uh, we're on our last week of the current book club, Gap in the Gang. Next week is gonna start our new one, You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Um, so uh, that's exciting. That's gonna be a lot of fun. If you wanna join either of those, you can always follow the link in my profile, or if you're not sure where to go or can't find it, you can always comment here too. Um, so that's perfectly fine. So today we're gonna be talking about breathing and breath and oxygen and uh, it's oxygen is one of the most powerful ways that you can level up your health uh, in, increase your weight loss uh, enhance your sports performance all this stuff and it's free but we're not utilizing the tool um, in the best way possible always uh, so I love a book it's called the oxygen advantage by Patrick McEwen and I'm gonna post a link to that here in the chat for you in case anybody else is interested in getting it. If you haven't read it yet, it's a great book. If you have read it, comment, because I'd love to um, hear if you have read it too, or let me know if you plan, if you want to get it now um, uh, that we're, we're talking more about it. Um, so you can basically, you know, utilizing your oxygen more effectively helps us achieve more with less effort. Okay. Um, so we often have to go back to the basics, um, when we're stuck in some area. And this is one of the basics that almost no one on the planet really utilizes fully. Uh, and it's a, it's a huge obstacle. We talked, we've talked about, um, uh, James Nestor and his book called Breath. Uh, I have an autographed copy. I've been on uh, a few calls now with him. And uh, that's, that's very eye opening and enlightening written, um, you know, not from a medical perspective, but just as a journalist that started to uh, investigate this more in his personal life. And, um, you know, it's something that is very important that we could all improve in some way somehow and it leads to not just better sleep and more energy and helps us to concentrate better and uh, we're less um, breathless uh, if you have uh, asthmatic symptoms if you have cardiovascular struggles if you want to heighten your performance you know in your workout or if you have a goal for you know a marathon or something like that a fitness goal it's definitely going to be helpful to be able to utilize that fully. So um, the Oxygen Advantage is a great book. And in there, he talks about something called a Bolt score. Um, and I'm gonna I'll also post a link right to uh, the book's website that has uh, that goes directly to the info on the Bolt score too, in case anybody wants to refer to that uh, after we're finished. Um, but in the, the BOLT score, it stands for body oxygen level test, okay? So when you hold your breath, you aren't releasing the carbon dioxide, so it builds up in your lungs and in your blood, all right? And then as your, you, that increases, your oxygen levels decrease. So your body uses that carbon dioxide to stimulate the act of breathing. So when you do something like the bolt score, and it's so, so simple to do, um, remember it's not uh, how long can I hold my breath test. Um, it's a little bit different than that. Um, but when we're gonna walk through the steps in a few seconds, and um, basically the lower the score, the more sensitive you are, okay? And the higher the score, the more of a tolerance you have. And that is the goal. 
So um, things like breath work and breathing exercises and exercise in general can really help to um, enhance the score. So most people are pretty comfortable around like a score of about 20 seconds. Um, even athletes, a lot of times that's their um, max range for their score when they start really focusing on this area. But if you wanted to get to your full potential, then 40 seconds is your ideal. That's really the goal. So, um, so basically the lower the bolt score, the greater breathing volume and the greater your breathing volume, the more breathless you're going to be and the more you're going to struggle in that area. So, um, so just real quick, I'm going to go through the steps for how to do it. So to get ready to do it, you want to rest for about 10 minutes. Um, you don't want to be really active or super stressed beforehand um, and have a timer ready. So you can just use a timer on your phone or the computer or whatever. Um, and you want to take a normal breath in through your nose, normal breath out through your nose, and then you're going to hold your nose. I'm not going to do it because then I'm, <laughs> I won't be able to talk. Um, hold your nose with your fingers to keep that air from getting in. Obviously, your mouth's closed. Um, and then time the number of seconds. This is this is the the important part. Time the number of seconds until you feel that first definitive desire to breathe. Okay, or the first stresses of your body urging you to try to breathe. So, for me, often it's a need to swallow. Okay, so that's a really common one. And remember. It's not about how long you can hold your breath. It's about how long uh, the time it takes for your body to reach that um, level or react to a lack of air, okay? Um, and then when you you get to that point, you can start the timer, release your nose, you can start breathing normally and um, go from there. So that might be a fun activity just to kind of get a gauge for where you might be now and um, how important is are things like breath work in your life, right? How important is cardiovascular exercise in your life? How important is um, starting to up your game in some of these areas, you know, looking at your nitric oxide levels and all that stuff that can take you further and further and further. So um, whether you're someone that likes to work out or not, I'm sure there are areas in your life where you can identify that this might be a big help uh, to be able to improve. So. Uh, that's something that you might want to give a try and see. I'd love to know, just out of curiosity, just for fun. Uh, throw in some of your bolt scores if you do it. I would love to know more. So uh, that's all we have for today. We will, don't forget to join tonight for uh, Miss Natalie and our coffee conversation. And uh, then we'll be back on here again live tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon. Uh, and then again tomorrow night. So I'll see.